Hey guys, this is Sai from Brevity and here we are with another lead code problem named Sliding Window Maximum. Given the problem statement of sliding window, the techniques which comes to our mind are uh, should be usually uh, two pointers and using a DQ. So the last week we saw there were two. We used two pointers for uh, one of our problems, or probably most of them were based on the two pointers where we have uh, placed our uh, pointers on the front and the back of given array, and we <coughs> use the shrink face or the growth face. So that's one kind of approach for the sliding window. Um, there's another approach by which we can achieve sliding window, uh, which is the DQ. So for this problem, we will be looking at DQ. Akash Menon has uh, done a great job on the dry run for this problem. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so this is the num array that we are given with 1, 3, minus 1, minus 3, 5, 3, 6, and 7. And the size of our sliding window is k is equal to 3. So this is our dq and our dq will have a maximum of 3 elements. And this is where our output elements will be inserted. And our i pointer, it starts from 0 and it goes to the very end of the array. So let's look at the dry run now. So initially i points to 0 and our first sliding window would be from 0 to 2. Inde indices is 0 to 2. So it will be minus 1, 3 and minus 1. So initially i points to 0 and since the q is empty, we'll just push 0 onto the dq. Now we move our i pointer towards the next element. Now i is at index 1 and it points to the element 3. Now what you need to do is compare this 3 with the element present at the back of the dq, which is 0, which means nums of 0, which is 1. So this one is obviously smaller than this 3 and therefore it cannot be the maximum of this sliding window or any sliding window which comes after it. So this one is no longer helpful for us or needed by us. So we just need to pop the index 0 out from there. So we pop index 0 out. At this point, our dq now becomes empty and so we push index 1 onto our dq. Now we move our pointer to the next element. Now it points to index 2 and the element at index 2 is minus 1. So minus 1 is not greater than uh, 3. So we just pop, we just push minus 1 onto our dq and continue. So at this point, we have looked at all the elements in our first sliding window and we will have the maximum of this first sliding window at the very front of our dq. So the element at the front is 1, so we look at index 1, so index 1 has element 3, so now we need to push this 3 onto our output, because that is the maximum of this sliding window. So 3 is now pushed onto the output array, and now we move our pointer to the next element. Now our sliding window becomes 3, minus 1, and minus 3. Now minus 3 is smaller than the element at the back of the dq, which is minus 1, so we just push uh, index 3 onto our dq. At this point, we now have looked at all elements belonging to this sliding window, and the maximum will again be at the front of the dq. So the maximum again is index 1, element at index 1, so it is 3. So now we push 3 onto our output array. Now we move our i pointer towards the next element. At this point, our sliding window becomes minus 1, minus 3, and 5. If you look at it, this index 1 is now no longer part of our sliding window. So we'll need to pop that element out. So we pop out element 1, index 1. Now we need to check if the current element, which is 5, is greater than the elements at the back. So the element at the back is index 3, so index 3 points to element minus 3, so obviously 5 is greater than minus 3. So what we conclude is minus 3 can no longer be a maximum of this sliding window, so we pop out minus 3 from our dq. Now our back is 2, so the element at index 2 is minus 1. Again, minus 1 is smaller than 5, so minus 1 can no longer be the maximum, so we pop out minus 1 also. At this point, our dq becomes empty, so we just we just push index 4 onto our dq. Now we have looked at all elements belonging to this dq and the maximum to the sliding window and the maximum will be at the front of the dq. So the maximum is present at, present at index 4, so index 4 value is 5, so we push 5 onto our output array. Now we move the pointer to the next element. Now it points to 3. So 3 is smaller than 5, so we just push 3 onto our dq, the index 5 onto our dq. Now we have looked at all the elements present in this sliding window, so the maximum is present at the front of the dq, which is present at index 4, which is again 5, so we push 5 onto our output array. Now i points i is incremented. Now it points to element 6. So 6 is greater than the element at the back of the dq, which is index 5, which is 3. So this 3 will no longer be maximum of this sliding window. So we'll need to pop the 3 out. So we pop it out. Now the 
the element at the back is at present at index 4, which is 5. So again, 5 is smaller than 6. So 5 cannot be a maximum. So we pop out 5. Now our DQ is empty again. So we push the index 6 onto our DQ. At this point, we have looked at all the elements of the sliding window and the maximum will be present at the front of the DQ, which is present at index 6 and also element 6. So we push 6 onto our output array. Now the I, I pointer is incremented. Now it points to element 7. So the element at the back of the DQ is 6. 6 is smaller than 7, so we'll need to pop 6 out. So 6 is now popped out. At this point, our DQ becomes empty. So we'll push this index 7 onto our DQ. And now we have looked at all the elements present in this lighting window. So we push the maximum, which is present at index 7, which is the element 7, onto our output array. At this point, there are no more sliding windows which we need to you know, discover. So at this point, we can stop our for loop. And this is the final output array that we have. So now we return this output array. So this is what the basic problem is. We make use of a DQ. We push in elements at the back and the maximum is always maintained at the front. So, did you have a look at that? Yeah, so that, that's kind of intuitive way to approach this problem. So now let's try coding that in Python. Okay, so now we need a DQ and an output list. So let's go with that. This uh, collections is going to provide us the DQ. Uh, it has already been uh, imported from the lead code uh, side, so that's not an issue. Now we have to iterate through the given array. So now, um, First, we have to check the condition whether you have uh, some elements in the DQ. So if D and uh, we need to consider uh, sliding windows, right? So window per window we have to consider. So uh, since our DQ is having a track of indexes of the elements in the, in the uh, given list, like uh, right now we have this as the sliding window but now if we try to uh, access this next element we need to consider only this sliding window like uh, we shouldn't consider uh, like th this thing should sh uh, shift to 3 minus 1 and mi minus 3 so for that we have this condition 0 is less than or equal to i minus k so hence uh, we get this condition i i minus k since we are get keeping the track of uh, the elements using i in i a variable so we have that as uh, one condition so if this uh, if it hits this condition now we know that we have to pop uh, the index what we already had in the dq so we have to pop the index uh, of one which is uh, uh, zero right now there so let's pop that out pop. so this will uh, pop out the first element then now we need another while condition while uh, you have some elements in d and nums of d of minus one so the last element i mean uh, yeah the last element within the DQ so that index uh, corresponding num is less than or equal to the incoming num so that is nums of i if this is the uh, condition you have to uh, pop from the front because now the incoming uh, element as Menon had uh, mentioned is not uh, the maximum and you you can just pop it out uh, from the back of the DQ so you just have to pop pop it out and now you can safely append it for now uh, so while uh, that while condition is done so now we safely append it append the index and also there will be another condition because right now if we keep on appending this and then uh, till 1 3 and minus 1 it perfectly appends but after that you have to uh, do this pop and then push this so there should be a condition to check that as well so that would be 
uh, if i is greater than or equal to k minus 1 so if that is the condition now you uh, so that that would mean that for, for that sliding window now we have the corresponding uh, maximum element in the first uh, as the first element in the dq uh, that that index now we can uh, safely append it to the output so of d of 0 so now we append that and now <coughs> we can safely return output so let's try running this okay so let's try submitting yep it got accepted okay so considering the edge cases i guess this code is already being uh, handles the edge cases from because of uh, these conditions here so we don't have to worry about the edge cases and regarding debugging uh, right now i don't think there was any debugging issue but if you guys have any debugging don't forget again i like i mentioned in my previous video so let's go to the step four which is optimization so considering this problem i don't think there is much of optimization here like this is quite optimized for the given problem statement so i guess we can safely skip this step and now considering time and space complexity of this problem so we are traversing this nums a given array uh, once fully so that gives us o of n and we also use uh, this while condition which adds on to uh, our nums uh, traversal so it'll be like uh, you you just have to uh, access the first and the last element so either you keep on popping or you keep on pushing so considering that it would become o of n plus n so which is o of 2n o of 2n is symbolically o of n so i i guess uh, time complexity is o of n it's linear time and space complexity is or oh, you use a dq and you use a output list so uh, i guess it should be o of n the space complexity because o of uh, output also depends on the number of elements in the list hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you guys have any doubts you can hop on to our discord channel uh, link will be given in the description below please like share and subscribe this is Sai signing off.